This is your host, Andrea Dumbecki. Are you ready to connect with the magical realms of the angels and fairies? We'll be working with the magical realms to bring enlightened consciousness to all areas of our life to increase abundance, health, and happiness. Look forward to weekly shows with your host, Andrea Dumbecki from angelfairyhealing.com. Hi everyone, I am here today to talk about talking to your angels. Uh, This is a very powerful thing that I want to remind everybody to do, especially if you've let a lot of stress and fear kind of grow in your life and you feel disconnected. It's really important to take a break and talk to your angels. Um, We can journal with our angels or we can meditate, but Most of all, I'd like you to bring up every issue that you're having. Pour out your heart to your angels. Start to receive healing energy. Start to receive guidance. And most of all, start to receive some space and some peace regarding all your problems. Get them off your chest because sometimes we keep our problems so hidden and we get so like isolated, right? We don't want to tell anybody about our problems. We're shameful and we try to deal with them on our own. And then before you know it, we just have this like inner worry, the secret worry that's only our burden to carry. And so I talk about this because the angels really came through today to remind everybody to talk to them that even if you feel like you have no one to rely on, that the angels are always here for you and you can talk to them about things, about how to manage situations, about how to solve problems, about your hopes, about your fears, about your wishes. Talk to your angels and listen to your angels, receive guidance. So I wanna just kind of talk, walk everyone through how to do this. It's very simple. Um, you can, you know, maybe set up a little angel altar, put on some peaceful music, maybe light a candle, have some essential oil, uh, set up a healing space and take that time then to talk to your angels. And I want you to pour out your heart about every problem that you are facing within your life. Just get that off your chest. And you can also take a time to listen to any advice that the angels have for you about how to bring more peace into your life. You can also do this with a journal. Sometimes I make a list of all of the things on my mind and then I meditate with the angels on each one. And sometimes I write out a prayer. Angels, can you bless each one of these issues? Angels, can you bring help to each one of these issues? Because sometimes when we write things out, we get a really clear intention. Uh, When we talk to angels, we actually receive downloads of energy. Angels are on a higher dimension of love and peace. So just interacting with angels raises our vibration, helps us to connect with love, to connect with the light of God, helps us to bring in that peace and safety that we may be seeking. As humans, we get caught so much into fear and worry and the busyness of everyday life that we let our worries, our problems fester within our mind, within our energy fields until a lot of us are these balls of anxiety and worry. So I really recommend that you take time to meditate with your angels, to reprogram your mind, to release your burdens, to let go of your problems a little on a little deeper level so that you can really bring in solutions and get more into the flow of life. So let's practice connecting with our angels and talking to our angels. You can talk to your guardians angels, or you can talk to specific archangels. Uh, but most of all, the angels want you to know that they are here to listen and that they always care about your highest good and that they are beacons of love and peace. So let's take a moment, take a deep breath, and we just want to start to get a good angel connection. You can open your heart to your angels. You can set that intention. Angels, I'd like to talk to you now. And you might want to go into a sacred place, uh, even just in the car alone, or maybe a park, or sometimes I go to the coffee shop alone, or make a secluded area in your home. Uh, Pick a place where you feel like you can get a good angel connection, where you won't be disrupted, and that you can have that sacred time with the angels. 
taking a deep breath, relaxing and being receptive is very important. And then you can mentally talk to the angels or you can write things out or you can say it out loud. Angels, I need help with this. Angels, I'm worried about this person. Angels, I'm at my wits ends. Can you bring in solutions for this problem? Angels, can you protect my family members? Angels, can you protect my future? Angels, can you help me manage this? Angels, can you bless my home? Angels, can you take this burden? Can you help me? Angels, can you boost my faith? Angels, can you help me to increase my inner peace and well-being? Thank you, angels. Angels are always here to listen to you and they embody love and presence. Let's take a moment to feel our angels now. You might feel a light touch on your back or heart. You might feel a sweetness within your being. You might just get this sense of a divine presence. Angels are a very subtle, higher uh, vibration. So sometimes it takes us a moment to just kind of plug in, relax, and uh, feel their energy. Remember, this takes practice. Uh, it's much easier when you're used to doing it. I remember when I first started connecting with angels, I would go in the bathroom at work or, you know, uh, be sitting alone on a bus and it was easy for me to touch my heart and say, okay, I'm going to connect with my angels now. And I remember looking in the mirror and my cheeks would become rosy and I would feel this sweet happiness within my being because I instantly felt um, an elation of love when I connected with the angels. And then I started to listen to the angels and talk to the angels, especially at quiet times, like before bed, I would say, okay, I'm going to listen to my angels now. I'm going to spend time with my angels. And it was life changing. And that was just the beginning of my path with working with the angels to find more inner peace and happiness on earth and to bring those teachings to others. So I encourage you to find the best way that you can to communicate with your angels and know that your angels are always here for you. I want you to take a deep breath and notice how you connect with your angels. Do you feel them? Can you see them? Do you hear them clearly? Even if you can't feel your angels, if you talk to your angels, they are listening. If you clearly say, angels, I want help with something, you might see results even if you don't hear your angel's response. Um, I see I see this a lot. People ask angels, can you help me with this? And then a solution will come and then they'll see an angel license plate or a feather or the word angel. So remember, pay attention, be receptive, allow the angels to help you. And I encourage you to start to develop your relationship with your angels in a positive way that is easy for you. I remember when I first started uh, working with the angels, I would try too hard to connect with them and I would get in my own way. And then I started to realize that there was this belief that angel help was, was too good to be true. And then once I released that belief, I could be more receptive to this beautiful truth that the angels are here all around us. They're waiting to help us with our earth life and they have lots of great advice and beautiful energy to share with us. So I encourage all of you to uh, take advantage of that, receive that beautiful truth within your heart and soul, and talk to your angels before bed, when you wake up in the morning, when you're in the car, talk to them about your issues, talk to them about your bills, talk to them about health, talk to them about family members, talk to them about anything that is bothering you. Get that off your chest and ask them for help. I remember when I had a really big problem, I kept asking the angels to help because I couldn't think of solutions. And I just say, okay, angels, you can, you got to help with this. I don't know what to do. I'm giving this to you. And I remember within a few weeks, the problem was just totally healed. And really, that's why I'm making this podcast today is to even remind myself to say that out loud sometimes, because we get so stuck in the human struggle and trying to fix things ourselves. But sometimes if we could just say, angels, I need help with this. Say that out loud. I invite you to bring in help with this. And that's releasing our ego also, because sometimes we want to be the ultimate creator of our lives, right? We want to solve all our problems. We want to be the super hero. And it's really important for us to sometimes ask for help from the divine and receive help from the divine and release that pride or um, 
ego energy that's like, I have to do everything and I rescue myself and I have all the answers and I'm this superhero. It's totally, totally uh, okay and really good for us to receive that help from the divine and lay down that sense of pride and ego that says that we have to do everything ourselves, right? So we're releasing all our burdens to the angels. We're inviting help. And now let's practice also listening a little. And this is really important. Uh, you know, you can just have a general listen. You can ask angels, what would you like to tell me right now? What do you have to say to me right now? Right away they say, we're here. We love you. You are safe. Take a moment to receive that consciousness shift. You're so caught in the struggle of life. Slow down and listen. All the answers that you need are all around you. Shift your consciousness. Um, so you can do a general listening. You can also ask a question or ask for advice on something and then listen for that. So for example, uh, angels, what do you have to say about how, how to help this family member? And then just listen. And it's important to kind of be in a relaxed, receptive state. Remember, if you're overtired, if you're, you know, in a high anxiety, stressed out state, sometimes it could be harder to get a good angel connection. If that's the case, I recommend you do something to relax yourself first. Maybe take some deep breaths, maybe go for a walk outside, maybe, you know, drink some water or have some tea. Do something to slow down and be receptive because if we try too hard and we're in that state of anxiety, it could be hard for us to hear our angels. So slow down, be receptive, talk to your angels, listen to your angels. This is my advice. And I give this advice because working with the angels has been an amazing tool that I have used throughout my life to help me overcome and get through lots and lots of things. And I really want to remind everybody that you don't have to navigate your life alone, that you have many helpers, that there is a higher path for your life. And this is a powerful tool for you. I really recommend developing your relationship with your angels. Um, for me, it's been life changing. And I really am happy to share this knowledge with all of you and this beautiful energy that the angels share with us. So let's take a moment to feel the energy of the angels within our heart and soul, within our being. Um, feel the blessings of the angels. I'm doing an angel blessing for you right now, blessing you with infinite knowledge, blessing you with infinite healing energy, blessing you with peace, with love, and blessing your future. And I'm blessing your connection with the angels. I'm asking the angels to awaken that connection for you. And now I want to move into if there's any pressing issue that you have right now, any pressing problem, uh, severe stress that you are going through within your life, or maybe there's a group of these <laughs> that you have, um, take a moment to offer these up to the angels talk to the angels about the, them, say, angels, this is what I'm dealing with. Can you help? Can you call in solutions? Can you bring peace for me? Thank you, angels. So take a moment to do that. And also want you to, to remind yourself that help is possible. No matter how big the problem, the angels can always help in a, in a certain way. Remember, we cannot be attached to how the angels can help, but they will bring in help, right? So, Let's just release our attachment to how, and we're just going to ask the angels to bless all of the things that you are concerned about right now. We're consciously inviting the angels to bring in solutions, to bring in guidance, to bring in healing energy for us and for all involved. Thank you, angels. I have a big smile on my face because I love connecting with the angels. And even though I've done it for years, I have to be reminded because I get caught up in the human struggle. I get caught up in the I. I get caught up in the ego of I got to do everything. I'm the superhero. And I have to remind myself to slow down, ask for help and, and really know that I am not running my life alone and that I don't have to fix and figure out everything all the time that I have these powerful helpers that help to connect me with the infinite knowledge of the universe, the greater power of the universe with God, with um, source, whatever you want to call that energy. 
and that I am safe and I am blessed throughout the process of my life. So I am sending millions of angels to help you and to assist you with any struggle that you are facing to bless your future, to help you to overcome, to help you to seek the guidance that you need to receive whatever you need and to ultimately help you live in more peace and happiness. This is Andrea Dumbecki from Angel Fairy Healing. I do have a few announcements. I am releasing my membership site that will be out in a few days. You can find that at angelfairyhealing.com. And as being part of my membership site, you will receive at least two classes a month. I will also be doing weekly intentions and lessons, and I will be doing energy healing on all people that are in my membership. I am super excited to release this membership. I have lots and lots of class archives that I'm putting in there, and this is going to be an online sanctuary filled with lots of my classes and things. So I am super excited to connect with all of you in that way. And as usual, I am always available for private sessions. You can find out more about that on angelfairyhealing.com. I offer angel soul therapy readings, fairy readings, angel soul retrievals, fairy soul retrievals, and more. This is your host, Andrea Dumbecki. Are you ready to connect with the magical realms of the angels and fairies? We'll be working with the magical realms to bring enlightened consciousness to all areas of our life to increase abundance, health, and happiness. Look forward to weekly shows with your host, Andrea Dumbecki from angelfairyhealing.com.